Um, we presented three posters at this meeting. Uh, all three posters were in collaboration with Boston University and with Optum Insights. And the one poster was on the burden of illness, so finding a way to systematically measure how patients feel and so that that can eventually be incorporated into endpoints and clinical trials. In this, we, we looked at the SF36, which is a multi-domain um, quality of life tool. And what we found is that across all three samples, the sample from Boston University was the largest, and this was Boston University as a center of excellence in amyloidosis. From the online study, which is community patients, and also from the baseline data from the vital study, across all domains, patients suffered a significant burden across all eight domains. And this measures physical domains, uh, mental domains, uh, a lot of things that affect the uh, activities of daily living. So we were able to systematically show that SF36 is a tool that can measure the burden of the patients. In the second poster, we looked at uh, the impact of hematologic response on uh, quality of life outcomes. In this disease, currently, the drugs that are used are plasma cell targeted drugs that target the plasma cell to stop their production of amyloid. And so how they measure their effectiveness is through hematologic response. And so we looked at patients who had partial response, patients who had a very good partial response, and patients who had complete response, and over a two-year period, whether those patients had an improved quality of life. And this was a retrospective study looking at charts uh, over the past 10 years. Uh, what we found was that patients who had a complete response actually had a significant improvement in their quality of life measured through the SF36. And, but the patients who had a partial response or a very good partial response did not show a significant improvement in quality of life. And some of those patients actually showed a worse quality of life. So we know those patients have probably had their survival outcomes improve, but the morbidity has not been improved for those patients. And uh, it's important that we look at the way patients survive, the way the patients function, and the way patients feel. And so the way patients feel is something that uh, I think across drug development now that we, we really want to make sure that we're listening to patients and we're being patient-centric in the way that we, we look at outcomes for clinical trials. In the third poster, we looked at uh, treatment tolerability from the current uh, plasma cell-directed therapies, and we try to correlate that with quality of life outcomes. And again, we use the SF36. And in, in this case, uh, we, were, we were able to, you know, these are direct questions to patients, and we're asking patients through this online sample uh, if they've ever had any tolerability issues with their current drug or any of the other drugs they've taken. And a vast majority of patients have had tolerability issues ranging from uh, having to stop their therapy, having to reduce doses of the therapy, having to change therapies. And what we found is the patients who had significant tolerability issues did not get that uh, increased quality of life. So they were not able to improve their quality of life and impact if they had significant tolerability issues, even though they may have responded to therapy, their quality of life was not improved. And this was again measured through the SF36. So the, through those three samples, what we were able to show uh, in, the, you know, in the process of validating this tool for this disease is that we are able to measure the patient's function, their burden in the beginning. So it's very sensitive to measuring uh, the function for these multi -organ, this multi-organ disease. Um, and then in the second two posters, we're also able to measure whether or not SF36 is sensitive to change. So it's important to be able to measure a disease burden, but it's also uh, important to show that a treatment that's effective can improve the quality of life. And so through, through the second and the third study, we were able to show that the, the tool is actually sensitive to therapy. And I think uh, these tools are, are going to be very important uh, for companies, for academicians, for patients moving forward to, to make sure that we're looking at the patient's needs and uh, not only looking to, in, uh, that we're looking for the patient's needs and we're not only looking to increase the survival of the patients, but we're, we're looking to make them feel better.